I would like to talk about HTML5 input patterns and how you can use it uh, to allow uh, browser uh, validation checks so you don't really need any other uh, validation library to be able to do that so just to demonstrate I'm going to quickly show you how uh, you basically start doing this so let me just uh, sh show you here the basic form which has one button and one input and uh, there is a really whole lot a uh, not whole lot in there and if we just do that uh, you can see there are no validation checks I can do anything here and apply and it will take it so if I wanted to uh, let's say add just a check that uh, the field is required so I have to add required here and the pattern is alphanumeric so it means any set of alphanumeric characters can be added and those are the ones who will be accepted so if I click on that and say here I click so you can see it says fill out this field and it gives me this little name format name format is actually whatever I put in the title so you can give a better hint to the user if you like and to demonstrate if I say type in ABC but I have a space in between and DEF it's not going to be accepted uh, so it has to be really just a continuous uh, thing with an alphanumeric and here it's going to be accepted fine and the easiest way to uh, learn how to do many of these patterns what you can do is you can go to this website called html5pattern.com and I will add the link on my website but uh, you can select uh, various common patterns for example I selected the alphanumeric pattern if you wanted to select postal codes you can see American postal code would be this and that can be a great starting point for filling in some of the input patterns for your form for example the IPv4 address is this it's pretty complex and for names credit cards and many other things so hopefully you like this short screencast and if you want to know more you can just basically uh, search for my website or associates and I will put a link to this uh, video on my website. Thanks for watching this short screencast.